I think that people individually are not generally intelligent. How often do you see a person that knows what they're doing? I I'm certainly don't know what I'm doing. I have so, no clue what I'm doing, to be honest. <laughs> see, uh, <laughs> I was, uh, we are relatively intelligent, but of course, uh, this intelligence is largely a prosthesis to cover for non-working instincts. And uh, we figure that out by now, right? And we see that uh, people acting on their instincts largely get good results for their life, but they don't reach a very deep understanding about the nature of existence in, in the process because they don't have to, right? There's very little utility for deep philosophy and practical matters. And as a result, individuals are relatively stupid. Uh, generations are not smarter than individuals, but dumber because uh, generations are made from groups that synchronize their beliefs. And the synchronization of beliefs makes it necessary that you give up agency over what you think is true. And when you do this, uh, you accept things that you would not accept when you think about them individually. So people in Eastern Germany uh, collectively believe things that an individual would never have thought. And same things happen here, right? So there are many conspiracy theories that people believe in here for a while that... Uh, would not make sense to somebody who thinks about this. Like Putin uses an army of Twitter trolls to manipulate uh, the fan affectations of Star Wars movies. This is a conspiracy theory that uh, was a result of misreading a study and was then re uh, repeated by 20 news outlets until somebody bothered to read the actual study and figure out, no, this is not what the study says. And then uh, some of the outlets picked up on this, but none of them wrote, okay, now we reconsider what we think about Putin and Star Wars. Because it's in a way totally what Putin would have done if he would have had the idea. And this may or not be it may not be true, but it means that we don't project reality as the extrapolation of facts. It's rather that we know there are enough facts to support what we feel to be true. And there's utility in feeling particular kinds of truths and these basically local cults of interpreting reality shape society, shape generations. This is what a generation is about. It's a local perspective of what things should be like. Like we were liberal generations, the millennials are largely authoritarian generations and we look at them and it feels wrong to us and they look at uh, us and it uh, feels wrong to them, right? And uh, it's neither of them is true. It's probably a set of biases that are the result of a local indoctrination. But there is something that's smarter than the generation. This is the, the culture itself. So if you, if you zoom out a little bit, you see that generations and societies are generated by cultures and cultures are built over a long time. And there are many things that are embodied in a culture, um, for instance, in the culture of how to build science, that would be very hard to derive for a single generation or to improve for a single generation because we don't locally understand all the things that went into it. So that in a way, civilizations are smarter than us. There is something like a civilizational hive mind, a civilizational intellect that we as members of our polis who are somewhat educated can never fully comprehend. But we can, once we figure out that it's there, there is something like a civilizational intellect. We can try to, to look into the abyss and see its rough shape, but it's difficult to figure it out. And then we realize, oh, there's a long tradition, there's multiple traditions that build on it and contribute to it. And that, that thing in a way is... Um, what we are going to achieve when we uh, build AI in the sense that we can inc incorporate the sum of all knowledge in a system of relations that makes sense of it all.